Hello everybody, I'm Nigel from Alphabet Yuma Physics, and if you haven't already heard, Radiocode has just released a new radiation detector, the Radiocode 110. Is it good? Can it replace my old recommendation of the Radiocode 102 as the best Geiger counter for beginners? Let's find out. Here it is, the Radiocode 110. It's a pocket-sized radiation detector and it can measure gammas, x-rays, and hard betas. What I especially like about this device is that it uses a scintillation detector instead of a traditional Geiger molar tube. This makes it way more sensitive and also opens the door to accurate dose rate measurements and gamma spectroscopy as scintillators can tell the energy of the radiation they detect. But the sensor isn't the only thing that makes this device so versatile. It also has a very large amount of customizable settings in the menu. And on top of that, there are lots of functions in the Radiocode app. The Radiocode 110 is also small, rugged, and easy to use, making it perfect for field use. All right, now it's time we test this thing out. How well can this device respond to radioactive sources? Okay, so first off, I'd like to try this out with some very low activity sources. I'm just curious how sensitive this is and how low of radiation levels this can detect. First, let's test it out with some uranium glass. This emits very low levels of radiation. Since this is really low activity, it's going to take a moment to respond. But look, it is seeing it. It is detecting the uranium glass. Heck, I don't even think my Rad IPRD can detect uranium glass. Next up, let's test this piece of thorium glass. So this is just like uranium glass, except instead of having uranium to color it green, this has thorium to color it yellow. And it is definitely detecting this thorium glass. Now let's test out this bag of blue apatite that I found laying in my drawer. Blue apatite can sometimes contain traces of thorium. That's what makes it radioactive. It definitely detects that. It's at 50 counts per second. All right, now let's test it out with some stuff that is a bit spicier, like for instance, this bit of depleted uranium metal that I have from United Nuclear. Hundred and forty three, hundred and forty five counts per second. Now let's see how it responds to this little radium watch. It's about sixty counts per second. Now let's give it a test with some fiesta wear. So about 100 counts per second. All right, now let's see how the ready could does when we test it with some stuff that is a bit spicier, like this giant North Carolina torbernite. The torbernite peaked at about 560 counts per second. Now let's test it with this one microcurie cesium 137 source. So that's 2.2 thousand counts per second. All right, now let's test it with the beta fight from the Silver Creek mine in Bancroft, Ontario. This piece is the most radioactive thing I own. That's over 3,000 counts per second. If I get closer, it approaches 4,000. Let's see how many counts per minute this is. So far away, we're already getting 6,000 counts per minute. I 
it's 200,000 counts per minute. Dang. Wow. Just wow. This has to be the most sensitive device that you can get for this money. It's about twice as sensitive as the Radio Code 102, which is what I recommended for beginners to get for, what, two years? But unfortunately, extra sensitivity comes with extra cost. An extra 150, to be exact. But that is a pretty good deal, considering that this is twice as sensitive as the Radio Code 102, and it is less than twice the money. Overall, I definitely recommend the Radio Code 110 even more so than the Radio Code 102, which is still great. So if you don't have money for the 110 and you just want to get into the hobby, I definitely still recommend the 102. But if you got the money, get the 110. Before I go, I want to say that a special thanks goes out to Radio Code for making this video possible. They sent me this Radio Code 110 along with a, a few other accessories to make some videos about. It's been Nigel from Alpha D Game of Physics, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like subscribe, hit the bell, share the video with anyone who you think might like it, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching. Bye.